What's up, everybody? We are unboxing some stuff. What's up? What's up? We are uh, Dave and I are at my place. This is a, a little bit before the podcast this week. So if you guys are if you guys watch episode 379, you probably will be like, oh, you're in the same clothes. Yes, we are. Yeah. And uh, we got some we got some cool stuff. We were both at Comic-Con this week. And if you heard the podcast, we also talk about Comic-Con and our adventures at the convention this year. And this year, one of the cool things I got was a mystery box for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm going to just try and zoom this in a little bit. Look at that puppy. Look at that box. Look at that. That's a, that's a box. That's a nice one. That's a really nice box. Usually the boxes are not as nice as this. This is one on every angle, including top. Oh, nice. That are all... I would... Hold on, let me, yeah. let me help you with that. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank yeah, you very much. Get yeah, nice and creepy with it. My name is Lake. I'm going to steal your girl. Uh, it's just going to be so weird when they make that action movie and they're actually going to give him a voice. I know. It's going to get really weird. Yeah, because we've never, he never talks, right? No, he, he grunts. The only time he's ever had a voice is from the 1990s uh, show that was like, they had the Mario. Oh, right, 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 right. On the fifth day, on the Friday, it would always be right. riled up. And you'd be like, excuse me, princess. And like, yeah, no, no one, no one wants no, that. No, I I cannot. I do not associate that voice with Link in any way. Okay. What? That being said, yeah. Let's start opening it. Let's, let's start checking out what you got in there, man. I haven't opened a mystery box in so long. Uh, the 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 last mystery box I got was one with a was a Star Trek one. Oh yeah, yeah. And I it, I got a backpack. They actually had a cool mystery. Bags for anime stuff, right. and they actually had a Zelda one. But look at us on here, by the way. It's for people so that when we turn to each other, we actually look like we're looking at each other. We're actually, anime conversation. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we're like, "Hey, you." <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna turn myself this way now and make life easier. Let's see this. All right. Well, so this is the first, and you have no idea what's in that box. So that, that's the thing for for this box for this. So at the uh, at the co at the convention, yeah. Every year they've had very similar boxes, right? Mm -hmm. So even like they had some. Rep ones that they had last year that were also this year they had breath of the wild last year they had which was also this year they had um what's it called dragon ball z they had a few batmans they had harley quinn's they had uh deadpool that I actually had already bought in a previous year so i it kind of x made it so okay. and quick shout out my it was my uh mother-in-law who actually got me this oh nice kindness, so thank you second mom um yeah. and uh um and uh, this is the brand new, like they even said it, they're like, because I was like, can you grab like a heavier one? They're like, honestly, dude, this is the first year where they're they're basically really even. We brought them like kind of complaints how some were like, people will be coming by and they'll grab one. They'll be like, that's too light, man. Like return it. Oh. Like, they'll, they'll be like, you know, I, I'll, I'm still taking one, but like not that one because like it was heavier. It's like, example, I got one that was heavy one year and it was a sweater inside. One time for the Deadpool one. Yeah. I remember... I went ham that year. Like when I went to Comic Con, the only thing I got was some mystery boxes. Oh, so boy. I went and I'm like, I'm like, like I got like I think four and oh, a lot of extra ones because like I had, you know, I was like splurging for whatever reason right. or another, like a nerdy year. And when the guy saw it, I remember he like took like he was like bringing the Deadpool ones down one at a time. He's like, no, no. Oh, he's wait. Like and he grabbed. He's like, is yeah, and gave it to me. <laughs> And, and truth be told, I ended up getting uh, a mug that was like resembled his face, which is a popular one. And I got serving plates. Oh, like, for Deadpool. Yeah, for Deadpool. And they're like, oh, there. I'm like, dishwasher said? I, I did not test yet because I, 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 when I got, ever since I got them, yes. Yeah. So unfortunately, the last time we, we did the podcast was actually the last podcast at the house because I'm moving. Yeah, you're moving. So yeah. I knew I was going to be moving already. And I look at my wife, I'm like, I'm not sure if these are display or to be used yet. I'm not going to trifle with anything. It's going to go into the boxes of boxes that I'm just not going to open until it's until the basement. Yeah, the next because like when I get to the next house, within a year I'm going to have the basement set up. Right, and then it's going to be like I don't know what day of the day is it's going to be, but whatever that day is, it's going to be <laughs> my personal Christmas because there's going to be so much stuff I'm going to open up. I remember I'll let you start opening up some, but I I remember when I, my ex was living in an apartment, she was planning to get a bigger place for herself. She started buying tons of stuff in preparation and she had like, so there was like a corner of her room because she was sharing an apartment with other people. There was a corner of her room where she just had like a, a Hello Kitty toaster, a Hello, like she loves Hello Kitty. Mm. So she just had a bunch of Hello Kitty appliances 
just sitting in boxes in a corner of her room because she was like, I'm not going to open them because I don't want to use them here. I'm going to wait till I move. And it was just this weird little corner space of Hello Kitty stuff all ready to go. That was my pre, like, so my office is like less, like, well, my old office now is like less than half the size of this room. Okay. And like half of that office was just exact. <laughs> yeah. So like, just as the spoiler, there's I'm gonna, yeah. a lot of stuff and there's actually a box in a box here. So I'm Louis, like, okay. I'm okay. So there. let's, 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 all, let's take out the first item. Well, yeah, I'm going to try and grab whatever's the smallest. So the first one, I just, it's simple sticky notes. All right. We got sticky notes. So that's pretty cool. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to assume whatever's smallest is, is least expensive, and whatever's biggest <laughs> is most expensive. Uh, fancy Ben, which I actually really like these things. Oh yeah, and it has the special uh, Zelda eraser on top. Oh, that is nice. nice. Which I'm gonna enjoy. Oh, it looks like uh like the mold rods I used to sell at work. Yeah, pretty sweet. Oh, and then the matching, I believe, journal, which I really wish I would have gotten this. I would have actually used this as like a nerdy thing while I was playing the game. Oh, for dirt, which still pretty nice though. Then we have, oh, this is crazy. Do I go for the box first? No, oh, no. Second packet of sticky notes. Oh, nice. Dang it. I angle a little bit. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Then what else? Oh, geez. This is honestly like a pretty. I've never played this game. So these are all like, oh, what? Oh, to me. What is this? A towel. Yeah, because that looks like awesome. I actually like these things. Because I got, so when I went to Europe, yeah. Uh, I used to go to pubs and I'd ask them to get the, yeah, uh, display it out. I used to go to pubs and ask uh, for their uh, bar towel. Right. So I actually have a bunch and now I could add uh, nerdy ones to the, to the stage. May I? Do of course, you may. You grab one, I grab one, we'll go into each, what yeah, is each, each angle. Pretty sweet. This is beautiful. This is honestly really nice. These are really nice. And they're good material. Yeah. I mean, they're perfectly, like, it's the right level of thinness that you need for one of those. Thicker might not feel as nice. Mm. It feels soft. It's going to need a lot of uh, softener. Yeah, and even at that, even if you just want to display them on the wall, they, like, these are, especially this green one. I'll, sw one. I'll swap with you because I haven't seen yeah, that one. No, go for it, go for it. The green one that there, it's actually like a symbol that you see very often in the game. Yeah, so what? So maybe a quick breakdown. What is the hand? Because yeah. I've never played the yeah. so basically Tears of the King. Uh, so spoiler alert now, so whoever's like listening to this. Wait, game. how long? Wait, hold on. And the game's been out for an excessive no, amount of time. I'm just saying it by chance, you live under a rock where you've been that person who's like, because if you're a person like me who's like, I finish a game completely and then I start the next game. Like example, I haven't touched Spider-Man 2 yet because I haven't played it yet. It's funny you say that. I just started playing Spider-Man 2 because I just refinished. I played Miles Morales a second time. Oh, okay. yeah. And was just like, okay, now I can go and play Spider-Man 2. Thank and I, I'm pretty far into I'm 30% into Spider-Man. So Wait, I won't spoil anything. No, thank you. But if you're one Everyone of those people, not, okay. <laughs> but if you're one of those people, I'm telling you right now, shut it off for 30 seconds. So what happens, the thing I love about uh, this game, so first of all, Tears of the Kingdom is a direct sequel to Breath of the Wild. Right? right. And the one thing that's really cool about it is that usually Zelda games don't really do that. There's always some type of like, in, there's some that they insinuate because of like someone says something or something happens that they're like, oh yeah, this must be the continuation like right. the only other exception to this would have been majora's mass which is clearly a continuation of working at time and i actually do believe that this this franchise is kind of after working at time that's a whole other tangent but what happens is everyone at the beginning of, of the game is like well like because we start the game off exact more or less exactly how you were powered at the end of the last game oh okay so okay. you have like the 40 hearts and all your powers and all whatever you But like. when you start the when game, you start the game, you are full on how you were in the last game. Oh, interesting. So what it ends up happening, how does it pull the, well, it's like, it's like, it's like uh, let's say, well, I shouldn't say exactly. It's like, you know, X amount of time later, but you look like the, 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 okay. uh, the game's traditional, uh, like the tunic for that game, you're wearing it. You have like all this and then, items on you. Question for the uninformed, because I've never played the game. When you finish the game, I imagine it automatically puts you at a certain level. Exactly. Okay, so that, you have like, sorry, gotcha, gotcha. I'm going a little too close. Mike, sorry about that. Um, but you, by the time you end the game, like no matter, almost no matter what you do, you should be at a certain flat. Okay, I'll touch that. Yeah, like so they they act like as if you did what anyone who is playing the game, like they they do it as if okay, you got all the shrines. The shrines are one of the ways to get like extra hearts and stamina and all that. So like your stamina is at the max. The hearts are at the max. 
if you go in your inventory, you have a bunch of stuff already. Interesting. And then what happens is there becomes a cut scene where, you know, it becomes a video. Right. And, you know, the 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 boss, Gannon, is there and his spirit's there. And then he's like, well, how dare you? You know, I'm coming back for revenge, so on and so forth. And then he grabs at you. And then it's actually pretty brutal. Um, Link loses his arm. Oh. Like he, he loses his arm, like his whole... I forget exactly at what point in... The arm Steinwalk, Luke Skywalker style, this is higher. Like, oh, like, boy. like Luke Skywalker's his hand, right? Like, no, he, goes, he goes straight up the arm. Oh, boy. So then what happens is, like, there's a spirit of sorts that comes by and then, like, attaches itself and gives, like, this spirit gives its old arm to you. Uh -huh. And then you find out as the game is progressing, like, you've kind of, your arm is linked to, like, the hero, the king of, like, thousands and thousands of years ago. Oh. And in the game, you know, Zelda, she's lost in time. And you see her memories and she's talking to the dude that is basically your arm. Oh. So that that arm there is the map that is his hand. Like if you uh, if you grab it back out. So that that symbol right there is usually he puts you put your hand to activate things, like kind of like, you know, if you go to a door and you, you open a door, you're gonna touch it with the hand and so on and so forth. So that symbol is like really infamous for the game. So it's it's cool. a pretty sweet thing so far. And again, that's like, a, we're already at essentially, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six items. And there's still more. I'm very, very curious. For a lot of this for you. But and there's, there's actually like at least three items in here. I'm getting a little excited. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we um, got, we got some dope crew socks. We got socks. And I'm actually, I got into these. I got into these hardcore. So I'm actually also super excited because now it's like Zelda official instead of me going to like some rando. I think, like store. Yeah, I had a conversation with a friend of mine recently, and they were just they were laughing at the idea that when we were kids and we got socks, we'd be so annoyed. And now, as adults, socks are one of the things we want the most. Mm -hmm. It's just like yeah, because I guess unfortunately, when you work your day to day grind, the way you show off is you have things like socks or your tie or. Well, but let's just be also honest. Like back in the day, you wouldn't be happy to get a comfortable pillow. And like now it's oh, like it, a pillow. If someone were to give you that and like you could like like that pillow you put on your couch and like you could pass out on the pillow. Oh, it is hard for. Yeah. It is super hard. No joke. If you gifted me a super comfortable pillow, I would love you. So if it's, 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 it's like it's it's, it's really sad. sad. I don't know what happens. It's like you know what it is? You're still a collector at art. Right. As a as a threat. You're still a collector at art. You just like as you get older, you're like, hey. All those things my parents like. Yeah, and suddenly I'm on board. <laughs> yeah, and they've gotten too old that they don't care, and they're like buying the old crappy stuff because like I didn't get to enjoy. It. So it's a very weird, look, so weird life. Molded light, sweet. I actually also pretty should you know, try it. You have by chance? Yes, I do. I have it on my trusty keychain now. I have a one of those night keys that you use to open packages. Really. With there you go. Pop. It's okay. nice and uh, simple, and it, it can't really hurt you. Like the C. It's a, this is honestly, oh, I gotta pick that up. After. Oh, wow. Life, life. Yeah. Like, oh, life, life, life. It's a genuine, it's not like one of those, like, little, right? It's not one of those, like, little, like, this is, like, actually pretty, like, it's pretty legit. That's sweet. I, when you said a molded light, I was just like, I have no clue what that. I don't know. Because I thought, based off the image that you get, and I'm just going to throw this out. I've seen lights like this where the packaging looks like this, but look, in reality, it's just like a, a glass. That's right. Like card. That's right? what I was thinking. And I actually got that from a mystery box before. So when I opened up this, I'm like, oh, it just must be the same. But no, this is like, this is really legit. Nice. And honestly, there's, okay, there's only one thing left. We okay. I, I know I started very dis disappointed in that, but it's only because this has been so cool and don't want it, um, really don't want it to end. Unbox it can be fun. Now I, really? like, now I understand why kids watch them. Of course. And and the funny thing is now, okay, I'll, I'll play with this. <laughs> Bless it. But like, I this is pretty worth it. Like, I'm not going to lie. This was like, and not to, to to blow up how much my 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 mother-in-law uh, spent on me, but this was, this was 80 bucks. Did this you bring way more than 80 bucks? Did your mother-in-law almost hit a phone? No, she was just like one of those things where she's like, you always get one of those boxes. We'll get yourself one of those boxes. I'm okay. like, are you sure? And she's like, I, like going on. I wasn't there. I'm like, I'm gonna go get the most expensive one. I was like, no, no, I'm just gonna go get the one I would 
by myself and like i was just like are you sure and she's like i showed her to her. she's like no oh, yeah that one you love that game i'm like okay that's cute and then a wooden pint stein what serious so again i'm sorry i've, I've, I've gotten so into the box unbox oh, that nice. that i'm forgetting that i have to actually displays these things and this is again pretty this is really this if this is good quality i'm going to be a little too impressed oh it is really good i mean i didn't expect it to be good quality oh that, that is, is nice. great if you have like a that cast you don't even need to you drink this you just put this at the bar that is really nice oh my god this is beautiful dude yeah like it, it look, you know what it is? It looks like what one of the people in the game at a tavern drinks. That is absolutely that is awesome. Fucking awesome. That is so cool. That could be like, well. Like, so, needless to say, if you go to Montreal Comic Con, which you should, yeah, there's many reasons why you should, and we'll discuss way more reasons when we're on the podcast later. Not to mention, artist Ellie's been really good this yeah. year. Yeah, shout out to a few people. But the 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 boxes are dope. Yeah, this is awesome. This is great. This is this has been more than than satisfied. So again, definitely worth it. Support your nerds, folks. We are going to be going to prepare ourselves for the podcast, which you are probably watching or you're probably checking out right now. Uh, actually, you know what? This is done. I might as well just post it right away for it because I don't think we need to edit anything. We opened the box, told good stories. There's not much work to do on our end, guys. We're going to post this up right away for you, so you can uh, watch this now and then you can watch our episode episode 379 can you believe it it's that it's crazy when we think about it uh but yeah we're, we're, we're out uh anything you want to tell the people before we leave just go to support your comic shops go support your comic cons and that's it that's it we're out peace y'all